What's going on, guys? Broken Profit here, and welcome back to the vlog. Here is hoping it seems like I start this video the same way every time. I need one of y'all to help me come up with a different intro. But anyway, hopefully your what day is this? Wednesday. Your hump day is going absolutely amazing. This live is being filmed in front of the members, the channel members. So if y'all see me looking towards the chat, um, I'm sorry. One of them is saying something, and I'm trying not to look. I'm trying to focus right here brain meets here so as i was just telling them guys the inspiration to my videos often comes from something that you guys have either texted me or emailed me a question you've asked a comment you've made and i was just talking to one of you about gossip and gossiping and i said you know what that is so rampant someone was just in a live stream talking about being cyber bullied and whatnot I said, so i said you know what let's give out some workings that'll deal with that but you know i'm also trying to always give out a deeper lesson you know so and of course scripture who do, lives in the scripture this is what came to me and it is james chapter 3 verses 8 through 10 and it says james chapter 3 verse 8 through 10 but the tongue can no man tame it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. And, you know, that right there is what is the inspiration for this video. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. <clears throat> it says no man can tame the tongue. Well, we ain't no ordinary men or women, so I'm about to show y'all how to do that very, very thing. Now, when we talk about the evil that, that proceeds out of someone's mouth, you know, someone once told me one time, they said one of the dumbest and biggest lies that we tell children, sticks and stones may break our bones, but words may never hurt me. We've all heard that, right? But we know that's not true because some of the vilest and most painful things come out of somebody's mouth. So this is a working that we can utilize to stop that, okay? To stop that. So one of the easiest, and and, I, and I've given this out before, but I wanna give y'all a few um, workings along this line because that gossip hurts, it is painful, and just someone just saying the wrong thing can ruin your day, and, and we've all known someone who it ruined their life. So one of the first things that I've got for you you guys may have heard this before, is lemon verbena, right? Now, remember, I know a lot of you think that we can only use that for money workings or cleansings, and that's true. But remember, I've also said that depending on how you use it can change the polarity of the root of the herb and cause it to do something different. Because lemon verbena, if carried in your left shirt pocket, will stop gossip and not only it will stop people from talking about you it will stop people from mentioning you and it will make them just in general leave you alone if you walk down the street they will cross the street carrying it in your left pocket now i know some people say this is how you can tell there's an old working because a lot of people don't really wear shirts i, I wear predominantly t-shirts but i will say this if you are being bullied or if, you, if you're being the, always the source of gossip you might want to buy you a shirt just so you can do that right there and i promise you i promise you you are not 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 gonna have to deal with that anymore now another thing that we can utilize and <laughs> i like this have y'all ever seen these i sell them at www.trueconjure.com the shut up candles now we all know you can just flat out just scratch the person's name in the candle and light it and that's great. OK, that works. But one thing that I like to do, obviously, you know, you're going to you're going to trim the wick. You're going to trim the wick. Right. Um, I will take some petition paper and I was looking for some petition paper. I don't have any. And I will wrap, you know, write their name on it nine times and then I'll fold it and I will light the petition paper and then use that to light the shut up candle. They remember, I think it was yesterday, we were talking about um, how we can utilize cayenne pepper to make someone move. Well, if you sprinkle a little cayenne pepper into that, 
into the candle. OK, let it burn for oh about three good, strong hours. And then when you go to extinguish it, I want you to do it this way. See, normally I say it doesn't matter how you put a candle out. You can pinch it or you can blow it out. But for a shut up spell, you have to do it very specifically. OK, you want to get in close, put your finger to your lip. And this is how you extinguish the candle. Does that make sense? Nobody ever told y'all that before, right? No one ever told y'all that before, but that's how you do it. You and you're shushing them. Now, be careful with that. And y'all, the reason I say be careful with it is for one, you don't want to blow cayenne pepper up in your face because you're getting all close to it. But for two, it's it, it is kind of a harsh way to shut somebody up. So don't make sure you're not just do, doing this because you're being emotional. OK. Make sure this is something that is actually damaging to you, because I. <laughs> I mean, I, I've seen people looking like they got stung all in the mouthpiece. From that working stung by a bunch of bees. And they, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, just 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 don't go doing that all willy nilly. All right. So there. And I know when I said that we can we, we will be taming the tongue both positive and negative. And I know people are like, well, probably, how, how is gossip positive? I mean, yeah, y'all know gossip is positive when when y'all want to hear it. Don't the T don't act, don't act. But <laughs> gossip is positive. When you think about the the like the value of what it is you hear, see Queen Marie Laveau, the queen of New Orleans voodoo. Now, of course, a lot of her strength and influence came from her mastery of voodoo, but did it all come from there? Oh no! See, a lot of people don't know that Queen Marie was a hairdresser. Oh yeah, she was a hairdresser. And because of her fair skin, you know, she had clients that were black as well as white. And as was custom at, at the time and sometimes now, depending on where you are, white people had a habit of just talking to each other in front of us like we weren't even there. So that's how low they thought of us, how far beneath them we were in their eyes, that they would talk about any and everything. And ladies, y'all know how y'all talk in that in, in that doggone beauty parlor. Y'all know how y'all talk. So Queen Marie is sitting there doing hair. And of course, she put a little uh, calamus root on her hands while she's touching folks' head. You, you put some calamus root on your on your hands, you touch somebody's head, but they'll talk, they, they'll talk, they, mm, they tail off. I was about to say something else. They'll talk, they tail off. So they were talking about who was sleeping with who, whose husband stole money, whose husband did this, who they were tricking, tripping around with right in front of her. And so when it became time, when, you know, at Congo Square, they were having a gathering and everyone was, you know, having a good old time. And people were like, oh, the black folks gathering again. You know, the code noir says that is illegal. The police came and Queen Marie would step forward and go, hey, I believe I talked to your wife the other day. And the wife would come up with, oh, honey, honey, leave her alone. Leave her alone. See, there's value in information. And so we are going to tame the tongue, but we're going to tame it just like a horse. You don't stop a horse from running and taming it. You teach it to run where you want it to run. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to tame the tongue to work how we want it to work. Now, first and foremost, for this working right here, you are going to need a piece of beef. Now, traditionally, you would use beef or a pork tongue, but they can be hard to come by. So you can just get a piece of beef. A strip, roughly tongue shaped, you know, so the, the tongue is wide at the base, curves at the tip. So that's what you want, kind of a triangular shaped piece. You're going to take a strip of paper, write someone's name on it. Take that piece of meat. You're going to cut it down the center. Don't cut all the way through. You're just going to make a little pocket. You're going to put that paper with their name inside the, the pocket and pin it shut. Some people like to stitch it. That right there, I mean, it's traditional. But y'all know how hard it is to pull a piece of twine or string through a piece of meat. So y'all know what I started doing. I get some stick pins and I just pin it together and it worked just as fine. 
Now, at this point, you're going to take some olive oil and you're going to pray the 23rd Psalm over it. And then you're going to take that olive oil and you're going to pour it over that tongue. And lastly, take you a little bit of whiskey and pour it over that tongue. Then you're going to pick that tongue up and then you're going to shake it three times north, three times uh, east, three times south, three times west. And then you're going to set it. You don't have to set it on your ancestor altar. You can. But it, it can, it's going to get a little gross. And then you're going to light a black candle next to it. Now, what's that going to do? What, what, is, what does a greased tongue do? What does a tongue that's, that's often been soaked in alcohol do? Oh, it talks. Oh, it talks. Now, if, if you wonder well, what's good, what use is a working that makes someone talk? Well, if you have a boss who has an assistant and you try to figure out, you know, some stuff on your boss because you need a little dirt. Oh, well, shoot. There you go. Because that assistant then heard everything and that will make that assistant gossip to you. In the land of the blind, the one eyed man is king and the one eyed man is often the one who has all the information. So you'd be surprised how powerful you get when everybody done told you their secrets. Another working, which is not, not, not quite as involved, involves something called King Fern. King Fern, K-I-N-G, and Fern, because it is a, a fern plant, King Fern. King Fern that has been dried, if you sprinkle it in someone's footsteps that you're trying to get information from or in front of their door, It'll loosen them up and make them talk as well. So there, you've gotten, so far, two workings that will stop gossip. And you've gotten two workings that will cause it for your benefit. Now, I'm going to give you all two bonus workings, okay? <laughs> because sometimes, <clears throat> now this, this one is only for the ladies. This working now is only for the ladies, and it involves Huckleberry, you know, like the movie, I'm your Huckleberry. Ladies, if your man is always being influenced by his friends, and y'all know y'all, y'all know those types of dudes, y'all gonna hang out with Craig and Earl, he come back with an attitude. Because Craig and Earl done told him he don't see how he put up with a woman like you. Because you know, y'all know sometimes, not all of you, but y'all know. And you're like, I don't need him listening to Craig and Earl. <laughs> what you'll do is take some huckleberry, sprinkle it around the house. Listen, your man won't be up under you. Now, when you vacuum, tell him, hey, you need to go out because you don't want to keep him up under you all the time. Let him go out a little bit every so often. Keep him sane or else, he'll, you know, don't, don't nobody want to stay in the house all the time. But huckleberry only works for women. OK, guys, that's not going to work for you. But behold, I got something for y'all, fellas, because we have the same issue sometimes. OK, you know, our lady go out and hang out with her sorors or, or doggone go hang out with her cousin. Next thing you know, she come back with an attitude. You like, look, a doggone home. Like, why, why, why Keisha's husband over there working on cars and stuff? And my car broke now. I don't know. Listen, sometimes you don't want to hear about that. Now, fellas, this is a working that you can do that's very, very simple. But be careful. And the best and the strongest workings work along with natural inclination. And I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes, ladies, y'all have a hard time getting along. Sometimes. So, fellas, you take some catnip. You take some catnip and put a little bit in your finger. I mean, in your in the palm of your hand and blow it in the closet where she keeps her clothes. OK, you do that. Blow it in the closet where she keep, where she keeps her clothes. And her and her friends gonna get the argument because it's you know some a lot, a lot a lot of times women don't get along. So that that little group of friends they won't hang out as much. Okay, they don't hang out as much. So there we go, everyone. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this series of workings. I think I gave you two for what six workings? Can I give y'all six workings? Yeah, there we go. Six workings that can help you to tame the tongue for your benefit, either to stop gossip altogether to start gossip for your benefit, or to keep people away from your mate. I think I've addressed a large part of a lot of people's problems. Okay, if you like this video, if you got some value from it, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Let me know you like this type of thing. And if you feel the need 
hold on. But someone's like, he always saying, oh, yes, yes, I do. If you feel the need to sow a seed, there's information down below for Cash App, Venmo, or if you want some of these roots and herbs or other things, feel free to go to www.trueconjure.com for real, authentic hoodoo items, black owned, black operated. Southern born, southern bred. When I die, I'll be southern. You know the rest. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm going to sit here and wrap a taste with my channel members for a little bit, but y'all tune in for the next video. As always, I really appreciate you. Profit out.